What's going on guys and welcome to Five Nights Before Freddy's 2. Now if you remember a long time ago, when I say a long time ago, I mean a pretty long time ago, like probably over a year, possibly two years ago, we did a playthrough of Five Nights Before Freddy's 1 and it was it was crazy i don't know i don't really remember anything from the game it's been that long but now the second one has come out and i knew i had to give it a go for you guys but of course if you guys want this to become a full series and maybe even another part later tonight be sure to drop a like on the video down below and drop a comment saying before and uh there'll definitely be some more so let's go ahead and get into this though so i figure let's start with a new game i don't know what to expect with this game at all wait there's a little like okay it looks like we have possible uh little hint here oh a tutorial okay yeah i think we should definitely watch this it looks like it's gonna be quite a tough game so finds before before freddy's 2 involves a very grim and dark world the atmosphere is dynamic so you must be wary of where you are facing to listen to the threats you will face headphones are recommended for these dynamically panning sounds okay that that sounds like it's gonna be tough movement is simple w to move forward a to move left d to move right Okay, that, that is very simple. I hope it, the game is that simple, though. Press S to back out of your current position. If you're in the standard position, pressing S makes you look behind you. Oh, man, this is going to be tough. You are given a flashlight for use against the enemy. Press F to activate it. Be mindful. In the top left corner is a battery showing how much power you have left in the flashlight. Once it runs low, you may, you may as well pray. If you hear a threat outside, move to the desired location and shine your flashlight to scare off most threats. Ooh, most threats. I mean, there's some that ooh, are going to get scared off. In some cases, the flashlight does not work at all, so make sure you know your threats. Okay. Sometimes you will be occupied, so that gives you... the Oh, that gives any threat the chance to draw closer to you. Oh, crap. If this happens, they will appear in the window, so you must use the flashlight this time. The threat will take longer to retreat. If you're not quick enough or do not use the flashlight, it is game over. So the flashlight basically is our only saving grace here. Fox is unique. You must keep checking for him. If he appears from the trees, shine the light on him for a short period of time. But be careful. He will keep coming. If ignored, he will draw closer until he pulls you out of the window and it's game over. Make sure you keep checking for him. As, proceed, as you proceed through the game, more will be introduced to you and you will be given hints throughout. And if the game is too dark for you while in game, okay, you can turn up the brightness. That's really cool they add that in. If the game is still too dark, okay, adjust your display settings. And okay, so we're going to get into the game now. So basically, you have to shine your flashlight on everybody except for Foxy. On Foxy, you don't want to keep it on for too long. You want to go on, shine it on for like a second, and then head back into the cabin. At least that's what I'm getting from this. So I guess let's get into this. I don't know what to expect here, dude. I think this is going to be really difficult. I, I have a feeling. New game. All right. Let's hope for the best here. I hope it's not too hard. Oh, it offers you the tutorial anyways. <laughs> Why is there a question mark at the top right then if it's going to offer me it in the beginning anyways? Eh, whatever. Damn. Ooh. Those robots smell back there. Like, damn. Oh, shit. Oh, no. Ah! <laughs> What is that? <laughs> Who does that when they crash? It? Ah! <laughs> okay, local authorities received a phone call at 2.44 p.m. regarding a tragic accident that occurred. A cargo trunk went off the side of a cliff. Bullet holes were found. Wow, holy crap, on the front tires. Unfortunately, the truck driver did not survive the crash. Four animatronic characters have been reported missing from a shipping container. No, dang it. Come on. I don't understand. Every game creator does not have a button to skip that like why why does it automatically skip it all right so here we are in the forest Ooh, this looks kind of cool actually oh you can you can okay wait we have radio hello 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 anyone there hello yeah hello? yeah i'm here <laughs> christ hey enough of that you wouldn't want your wife to find out about your little secret would you if oh, it's what just little take secret? Me a couple days to watch a couple of robots while sitting in a cabin to keep you from telling her, then that's what I'll do. I apologize for my attitude. Good. I'm not the bad guy. I'm under his order too, and I hate this as much as you do. I'm screwed if you screw up. So do us both a favor. Hmm. Well, care to tell me where I need to go? I follow the directions. I don't know where to go from here. What do I look like? A GPS? I have no idea. Just look for a cabin, I suppose. It's the only one out there. Brilliant. What if I get lost? Well, you better hope something kills you out there, because he will rip your head off. Thanks for reassuring me. Let me know when you find the cabin, and I'll give you your task for the night. What the hell am I getting into? I suppose I better find this cabin. It's freezing out here. <laughs> that definitely, that's the gaming salmon, I think. Certainly sounds like him. All right, so it looks like we're heading into the cabin, and we're watching the robots because hey, there. that guy is info cabin. on our wife. Oh. 
the most simple knife. Apparently, all you have to do is find your way into the cabin. The key was hidden in the grass somewhere. Well, you better hurry and find it. Boss says that you must make sure nothing comes in or out of the area. Hmm. Sounds simple enough. So when can I go home? Your hours are 12 to 6 a.m. So go home at 6 and come back at midnight that night. Christ. Alright then. Well, good luck, Isaac. Nothing should happen tonight. Wonder what he meant Nothing by that. Should. Nothing should happen? Oh no. Ooh. Okay, so night one, move left. Wait, what? A okay, A to move left. S to move backward. Okay, where's the flashlight at? Why is it... Why is the flashlight up there? <laughs> okay. Oh, why am I looking down at the ground? Okay, I don't, I don't fully understand what's happening right now. The flashlight's like... Up there, for some reason. I don't know if it's broken <laughs> or if that's just where it's supposed to be but all right so wait move backward then let's get out of here i think my flashlight might be broken <laughs> i can't i can't point it anywhere yeah i think you're supposed to be able to point it but i can't <laughs> okay well it's stuck like i'm using my mouse it's just not it's not moving maybe if i use the arrow keys no all right well that's a bit of a problem that's like one of the main things in the game <laughs> if i can't use that then what the heck am i gonna use <laughs> I, I, I think I can't do anything then, really, because I can't move backward. I can't... I can go left. Okay, I'm interacting with stuff. The radio guy said the key was hidden in the grass. Try pressing A or D in different spots to look closely. Oh, so this is why he was looking at the ground? I can't see anything. I'm just going to click around and hopefully I can find it. No, it looks like I can't... I can't find it. All right, well, that's a bit of a problem. Let's go check the other side, I guess. This is kind of crappy, though, that it's broken. <laughs> the game's already broken. I haven't even gotten into it. All right, so can I check this grass? Oh, whoops, no. I need to check the grass here. Is it possible? Okay, no, we can't check this grass. So then what am I supposed to do? <laughs> I can't use the flashlight. <laughs> I'm stuck out here. All right, guys, hold on. I'm going to try restarting the game, and maybe I can get it to work. So I'll be right back. All right, guys, so I finally figured out what the problem is. So this is uh, one of those games where if you click out of it, the mouse, like, or if I, if I, like, move my mouse up there into that corner, the light just gets stuck up there and you can't get it out. So, it took quite a, a while for me to figure that out, but I finally did, luckily. And uh, I think I figured out, you know, how to get it to work for good now, hopefully. Alright, so is there a key? Oh, there's the key. Alright, so we got the key. That didn't take long at all. Let's go and open the door and get inside the cabin. Oh, um, man, I hope we don't run into more problems like that. It kind of sucks because I can't click out of the game at all. So, it's a pretty massive problem. Or I can't, like, move my the camera in certain areas. All right, so move forward, move left. Okay, move right. Same old thing. Are we already in the night? Hold on, let's look right. Okay, it's got a weird, like, laggy look to it for some odd reason. There's the flashlight. I don't think there's any point in really using it, though. Turn around. Okay. So I think the game is just strictly based off of sound. Wait, what's this for? Oh, was there somebody? Okay, I thought I saw somebody, but I guess I'm wrong. Let's turn around. Okay, I don't see anyone at all. So, I think you just basically have to listen for sound, and that's it. So, you'll be able to hear everybody, hopefully. The one thing... I Whoa, what was that? That didn't sound like me. Wait, was that... Okay, I thought I saw somebody out there. Maybe I'm wrong. The one thing about games that I don't like about these, like, these kind of games where you have to listen, is that they expect you to, like, blare your headphones to be able to hear it. And then when you get jump scared, you get a super loud jump scare just blared in your ears. So, I'm not trying to feel about that just yet. But hopefully, that's not how he decided to make this game. Right, any sign of anybody? I keep thinking I see somebody at this tree right here. Like, I keep seeing something move, but... I guess I'm wrong? Oh, a cupcake. Okay, I, I guess I'll tap that. Alright, it just faded away. Alright, that's interesting. <laughs> Why is there a cupcake in the game? That's random. All right. Well, I don't see anybody else just yet Nobody seems to be coming Weirdly enough the whole uh, All of the noise in the background just stopped playing. It's kind of creepy. I don't know what happened there I keep thinking I hear things, but I'm not I I'm pretty sure there's someone behind this tree like you guys see that whenever I leave the tree Like something moves behind it. Look watch hold on watch this part of the tree right here. Oh, I didn't do it that time. Oh my god. Is that- that's gotta be- Yeah, that's me walking. It's like a delayed sound. I keep thinking it was somebody else. 
Ain't nobody out there still. 3 a.m. We know this is only the first night, so obviously probably only one thing is going to happen. He said you don't have to watch out. Oh, oh, God, that's Bonnie. Okay, I got rid of him. Is there somebody else? Okay, no, that was pretty simple getting rid of him, so I think we're good. Everybody else seems to be gone. Yeah, it looks like we're fine. So it was just one animatronic. That, that was kind of easy, though. I mean, obviously, that was just the first one, but I could hear the bushes, so I knew he was there. Let's just keep looking around, though. I don't want to mess this up. If he attacked that early on, I'm guessing there's probably going to be somebody else who's going to attack later, too. We still have two more hours left in this night. Oh, my God. Dude, the, the delayed sound of me walking keeps getting me. <laughs> like, for a game that's based off of sound, I think you should probably get that fixed. <laughs> it keeps freaking distracting me. All right, we're good, though, in terms of everything else. Nobody else is showing up yet. This night is taking a while to go by, too. It's still only 4 a.m. Is there anybody over here? No. Ooh, man, this is starting to heat up, though. I know this is going to be super difficult whenever things really start to get hard. Also, I still don't understand what this is for. Like, is that for if they get in or something? Like, I don't know what that, what, why that's there. Why can I go underneath the table? It's just strange to have that in, like, for now. I mean, obviously, until I learn what it does. All right, nobody's there, right? Okay, looks like we're still good. I do want to test out how long this battery on the flashlight will last, though. So I'm just going to kind of keep shining it. Actually, couldn't you just, like, walk around with it like this? And you would just constantly scare everyone away? I mean, you'd run out of battery, but it could work. <laughs> I'm just saying. And we, we still haven't dropped one percentage yet. Like, it's still all the way up. Dang. Okay, this thing has a much bigger battery than I would have thought. It still hasn't dropped. What the heck? Can I just walk around with it? <laughs> this is kind of OP. There's no, this is, like, nothing stopping me. Okay, well, I mean, I'm not going to complain. Oh, now it finally dropped one. All right, obviously, this is going to be way harder later on. There's no way it's going to be this easy throughout the whole game. There's no possible way. This is going to get insane later on the other nights. All right, so no sign of anybody. Come on, 5 a.m. Hurry up and hit 6. I want to beat this first night. Get over with the boring stuff and get into the more exciting stuff. All right, no sign of anybody. Surprisingly, he... Oh, I got him. If an animatronic is approaching the window, use your flashlight to blind it and scare it off. Yeah, so we, we kind of a late hint there. <laughs> we, we already attacked once before that. So, I mean, we kind of learned that already, but all right. So there you go. First night complete. I don't know about me, but it felt like that night is way slower than any of the other fan games I've played. Like even Pines Phrase in general. Maybe it's just because like it was the first night and, you know, not much was happening, but that felt super slow. I hope, I hope it's not like longer nights because that's going to be spooky. All right, so now we're back running through the forest. We're probably going to get a call here. Wait, what was it? R hello. for radio? There we go. Hello, hello. Boss said you was pleased with your work last night. In no time, you'll be back to your pathetic life. Thanks, I guess. How do you live with yourself? I think I deserve to ask a question. What's with these things? One of them moved and approached the window last night. Scared the crap out of me. Well, these animatronics have a service mechanism which tends to lock up. That's why they have to roam around in the night. If they don't hear anything, they're programmed to go to a place where there is sound. You may think they have a kind of vendetta over you, but trust me, they don't. Right. I'll play that in the back of my head when they all come towards the cabin. Well, there should be more activity tonight, so you'll be more busy. Who knows? Maybe another animatronic will come and say hello. Oh, no. That's Not reassuring. Foxy. <sighs> I like Gaming Salmon's, uh, his voice acting, but the other guy, I don't know how to feel about. <laughs> like, it's clearly a fake voice. Like, I could do that. I could be like, oh, it's me. I'm evil. <laughs> yeah, you gotta watch out. Like, it's not, like, that's what it sounds like he's doing. He's just like, he's pretending to be evil. That's what it sounds like. I don't know. I, I guess that, I feel like that's on purpose, though. Like, maybe they did it just as, like, a joke sort of thing, but I don't know. It's super distracting because it's super easy to tell that that's not, like, an actual, like, villain. That's just somebody, like, a little, not a little kid, but you know what I mean? Like, a, a normal dude just pretending to have an evil voice, <laughs> that kind of thing. But, I mean, yeah, I mean, it, it's interesting that it has voice acting, at least. At least that's funny. All right, well, guys, I'm going to have to end this video here. In the next video... If you guys want to see it later tonight, we're going to be really getting into things because uh, obviously that was just the start of things. We found the key to the cabin. We got in, but now this is where things are going to start heating up and everybody's going to start attacking us here. I do want to see if we can get a jump scare here. I don't know where anyone is, though. I want to see how close they have to get before they kill us. So let's see if we can get that to happen here uh, before anything, before I end the video here. Come on. Where's Bonnie when you need him? Oh, what was that noise? 
I don't think that was me, was it? Also, if you guys notice, it's really laggy. That's not my recording. That's the actual game. It's just a super laggy looking game. Wow, it's already 1 a.m. <laughs> what the heck? All right, I mean, if we don't somehow get attacked this entire night, then I guess I'll play through it. Let's see. Nobody's coming yet. Also, he said Foxy was going to be coming, but... Oh, there's somebody on the left. Left side? Yeah, there he is. Okay, so I want to see... Ooh, who's that? Okay, I want to see how long it takes for him to attack us. Let's see how long it'll take him to show up. There was some banging at the door or something. I'm not sure if that means somebody's coming in or what, but let's see how long. Come on. <laughs> Dang, he stands there for a long time. He's still there. <laughs> what the heck? What's he waiting for? Is he like, does he want to be invited in? I can invite you in, bro. It's fine. Come on in. Come on, come on through the window. <laughs> I could have shined at him like 50 times by now. All right, so I'm guessing there's not another stance after this. He probably just comes in. Okay, somebody else is here now, too. Is he going to come up? Oh, I think he moved. Let me check this. Oh, there's Chica. Okay, so Chica's far away. Is he coming in yet? He's still back there. <laughs> Why does he take so long to attack? What the heck? That's kind of weird. Also, where's Foxy? Because he said... Oh, I guess when he meant there would be a new animatronic um, coming on this night... I guess he just meant Chica. Okay. So we're probably going to have Bonnie and then Chica and then Freddy and then Foxy because he's probably going to be like the hardest one. All right. I don't know if they're glitched or what, but they're just not attacking. <laughs> they're just standing out there. <laughs> Hello? I like, I could, oh, there he is. Okay. So now you have to shine your light on. I wonder how long you have, you have here. Let's see how long it takes before he jump scares us. Wow. Okay. They give you a lot of time. Okay, wow, they have, they give you a lot, I could easily beat that, like, I thought it would be harder than that, but, like, you have, like, what, what was that, like, two minutes before he actually moved up to the window, and then when he moves up to the window, you have, like, another 10, 15 seconds before you have to shine your light on him for him to run away, so, this is, this is gonna be kinda easy, I mean, then again, like I said, it's only currently Bonnie and Chica, but I feel like even, I don't know, even when Freddy comes, like, the only real threat is probably going to be Foxy because you're going to have to constantly be checking him. But the other ones, they give you so much time that they're not really a big threat. I don't know. Let me know in the comment section down below. Do you guys think this game is going to be super easy or hard? So comment super easy if you think it's going to be super easy or hard if you think it's going to be hard. I feel like up until probably night four, everything's going to be really easy. But then after that, it's going to be extremely hard. Because that's how most of these games work. They're easy at first, then they get hard later on. But guys... I'm going to see you guys in the next video. Of course, if you guys enjoyed, drop a like on the video, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out, guys.